answered. My question is for the Minister representing the Minister for Defence. There is ongoing anger and resentment among former and current servant members of the Australian Defence Force because Senior Command has failed to take responsibility for policies or decisions leading to the alleged war crimes in Afghanistan. The Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan has created practical difficulties for investigators, yet the government continues to pursue alleged war crimes at the expense of current and former members of our ADF. These matters have been handled, handled as though the accusations have already been proven true. A presumption of guilt prevails, not innocence, due to the way it has been handled by generals and the government. When will the government collectively accept responsibility and accountability for what went wrong in Afghanistan? Thank you, President. Thank you to Senator Lambie for her question. And uh, uh, she has been consistent and persistent in her advocacy for defence personnel and the veterans community, and in particularly on many issues, including this one. By way of background, of course, the the Afghanistan there was the Afghanistan inquiry was initiated in twenty sixteen to determine if there was any substance to rumours and allegations relating to breaches of the law of armed conflict by a special operations task force over the period two thousand five twenty sixteen. The the matter is being dealt with was dealt with through both the IGADF and this also being dealt with through the Office of the Special Investigator, and I'm advised that next court mentioned for the first charge brought by the Office of the Investigator is scheduled for 2nd of July, 2024. Uh, I'm also advised that the Defence Department, Defence Department has implemented the required actions to close 139 of the 143 inquiry recommendations and that the Office of the Special Investigator is a continue, continuing uh, its its work. Uh, in relation to the IGADF, and I don't know if the Senator wants me to go to this, but I know that she's uh, raised this also publicly, including today. Uh, I know that the Senator has sought an audit of the efficiency and effectiveness of the Inspector General of the Australian Defence Force. I'm advised, as the Senator is aware, that there was a review initiated of the IGODF conducted by former Justice Duncan Thank Kerr you, and the Wong, matter the is currently before the government. Expired. Senator Lambie, first supplementary. Thank you. To date, how much money, how much, tax, how much of taxpayers' money has been spent from the start of this to where we are today. Thank you, Senator Lambie. Minister Wong. Senator, to clarify, I don't have the detail of that, but in order to get advice on it, can I just clarify, I assume you mean from the commencement of the inquiry or are you suggesting uh, different in relation to the Office of the Special Investigator? So perhaps if you can clarify that. I don't have those full details in front of me, but I'm very happy to ask the Defence Minister's Office to provide you with an answer on that. Senator Lambie, second supplementary. Madam President, the, tree, the Chief of the Australian Defence Force, Angus Campbell, provided advice to the Minister last year about the issue of command accountability, including the possibility for senior commanders to be stripped of honours and awards. However, the government is dragging its feet and refusing to take action to restore integrity and trust in the Australian Defence Force in the last 12 months, how many letters has the department received from current and former members of the Australian Defence Force demanding to revoke the Chief of Defence Force Angus Campbell's Distinguished Service Cross? Thank you, Senator Lambie. Minister Wong. There were, I think, Senator, there were two aspects to your question. First, in relation to command accountability, it is the case commanders can be held criminally responsible in uh, for being directly, indirectly or knowingly concerned in or party to the commission of a, a war crime, this would be a matter for the Office of the Special Investigator. A command accountability action may be considered whether it, where it is found that a commander is morally responsible for the actions of their subordinates, regardless of their involvement in the specific acts. With respect to the Afghanistan inquiry, the Inspector General found alleged criminal behaviour was conceived, committed, continued and concealed at patrol commander level, 
Above that level, the inquiry found commanders did not know and were not recklessly indifferent to whether their subordinates were allegedly committing war crimes and did not fail to take reasonable steps to discover the behaviour, although the inquiry does find that commanders bear moral responsibility and accountability. In relation to the second part of your question, I, I do think that's been uh, canvassed in estimates. As uh, you know, the decision you, to grant the can time be for re answering has expired.